ट्रबल शूटिंग करंट आउटपुट इज नॉट फोर मिली एंड फेयर एट जीरो फ्लो पॉसिबल कॉज फ्लो इज नॉट एक्चुअली जीरो फ्लो ट्यूब इज नॉट माउंटेड करेक्टली ग्राउंडिंग इज नॉट डन प्रॉपरली फ्लो ट्यूब इज नॉट फुल इलेक्ट्रोड्स आर कंटेमिनेटेड करेक्टिव एक्शंस इंश्योर एब्सोल्यूट जीरो फ्लो एंड चेक माउंट द फ्लो ट्यूब करेक्टली एंड चेक परफॉर्म ग्राउंडिंग एज इंस्ट्रक्टेड एंड चेक इंश्योर दैट द फ्लो ट्यूब हैज बीन माउंटेड टू इंश्योर फुल बोर एंड देन चेक आइसोलेट एंड रिमूव फ्लो ट्यूब रिमूव एनी डिपॉजिट ऑन एंड अराउंड इलेक्ट्रोड्स करंट आउटपुट अपियर्स स्टक एट लेस देन फोर मिली एम फेयर्स दो फ्लो रेट इज चेंजिंग पॉसिबल कॉज द डायरेक्शन of actual flow is opposite to the arrow mark on the flow tube corrective action reverse the flow tube and check output current does not match the indicated flow rate possible cause parameter q max value may be incorrect corrective action set the correct value of q max to correspond to 20 milliamperes slow variation in indicated flow rate possible cause the process fluid has varying conductivity the process fluid has very low conductivity as in case of pure water with low ion concentration damping factor is at a low value corrective action allow the conductivity to stabilize and check measure the conductivity it must be more than 10 micro siemens per centimeter for stable measurement increase damping factor in steps of 5 seconds and check continuous and quick fluctuation in indicated flow rate possible cause damping factor is at low value flow is turbulent pulsating or changing rapidly multiple feeder pipes are connected upstream one of which has pulsating flow flow contains bubbles bubbles tend to remain trapped within flow tube corrective action increase the factor in steps of 5 seconds and check allow flow to stabilize and check switch off one by one to determine the source of turbulence vent out excess bubbles and check install an orient flow tube correctly indicated flow rate drops to zero value intermittently and then recovers possible cause the low flow cut off level is not correctly set or flow velocity is very low corrective action reduce the cut off level in small steps and check indicated flow rate is non zero though flow is at absolute zero and flow tube is full possible cause transmitter is faulty electrodes are contaminated corrective action disconnect e1 e2 and g at transmitter short together if indication still non zero send transmitter to factory isolate and remove flow tube remove any deposit on and around electrodes and check empty pipe indicated possible cause flow tube is not full empty pipe limit is set to low value corrective action confirm installation is correct flow tube is full and then check check the limit ep mv if actually mv right hand side exceeds to the set limit left hand side change the limit to more than actual mv indicated flow rate is either very low or high than expected value possible cause incorrect configuration settings corrective action 
set dn size correctly and check flow meter does not respond to change in flow possible cause improper coil or electrode wiring coil or coils are internally open zero coil current corrective action confirm c1 c2 e1 e2 and g wires are correctly inserted into respective terminals at transmitter and flow tube end tighten the terminal screw and check disconnect c1 and c2 at transmitter measure the resistance across open wires c1 and c2 it should be within specified range as mentioned in the manual if not sent to factory disconnect only c1 at transmitter connect dmm on 2 amperes of ac range between open c1 wire and terminal c2 it should be within specified range as mentioned in the manual if not sent to factory if there is no modbus communication first confirm that the modbus master device is connected to the correct terminals all the slaves have been connected to the master only in a single linear multi drop configuration there are no nodes within multiple branches of multi dropped slaves the slave farthest from the master has been terminated with a 120 ohms half watt resistor all slaves have been assigned only unique slave addresses the master is correctly programmed with addresses to access only the intended slaves disconnect the load connect a rs485 end of a rs485 to rs232 converter across the terminals connect the rs232 end to any host computer pre installed with mod scan utility check by reading from a register if indicated correctly reconnect the load and request the customer to check their modbus master device if there is no pulse or digital output an electromechanical counter must never be connected as the load loads with only digital input such as digital counter dcs or plc are permitted active output mode confirm that the load is connected to the correct terminals disconnect the load connect a cro probe of 50 volt dc range directly across the terminals via diagnostic mode select pulse 1 or pulse 2 as required then select pulse on cro must indicate a pulse strain with a high voltage greater than 20 volts and low voltage of about 7 volts dc then select pulse off if the pulse strain is correct it is likely that the connected load requires a higher operating current request the customer for an alternative counter with a maximum load of 25 milliamperes dc and check open collector mode the load is connected between the correct to positive terminal and the positive of external dc supply the negative of dc supply is connected to the to negative terminal the external dc power supply is within the range 22.6 to 30 volt dc the load is not less than 5.6 kilo ohms disconnect the load from the to positive terminal connect a 5.6 kilo ohms half watt resistor between to positive and positive of supply connect a cro 50 volt dc range directly across the terminals via diagnostic mode select pulse 1 or pulse 2 as required then select pulse on cro must indicate a pulse strain with a high voltage greater than 20 volts and a low voltage of about 0.3 volt dc then select pulse off 
If the pulse strain is correct, it is likely that the connected load requires a higher operating current. Request the customer for an alternative counter with a maximum load of 25 mA DC and check.